Have you ever wondered how priceless artifacts can disappear without a trace, leaving historians and enthusiasts in awe? Join us in a captivating exploration of history as we unveil five ancient artifacts that mysteriously disappeared. Discover the secrets behind the disappearance, important sacred relics linked to miraculous events, right up to the puzzling disappearance of the Peking Man fossils. Stay tuned until the end as we unravel the perplexing enigma of the world's eighth wonder, leaving you with the lingering question, how did this extraordinary artifact vanish from the annals of history? The answer awaits. Second Temple, Menorah. Imagine a candelabrum, not just any, but the sacred menorah, a symbol woven into the fabric of Jewish history. Its legacy stretches from ancient times, adorning the tabernacle and later gracing the temple in Jerusalem. This iconic symbol became synonymous with Judaism and the Jewish people in the homeland and across the vast diaspora. In the words of the Hebrew Bible, the menorah emerges, sculpted from pure gold, a masterpiece of divine design. Intricately constructed, it boasted a central shaft and six branches, each beckoned with almond-shaped cups and blossoms hammered from a single piece of gold. Seven lamps adorn this golden artistry, casting their radiant glow in front of it. In the annals of biblical tradition, Solomon's temple stands as a grand custodian of the menorah, radiant flames flickering within its sacred halls. Yet the ravages of history soon took their toll. The Babylonians swept through, plundering Jerusalem and extinguishing the temple lights. The Roman conquest in 70 CE further darkened the sacred sanctuaries, seizing the menorah and parading it as a spoil of victory in the heart of Rome, etched into the fame arch of Titus. The menorah's journey continued, shrouding in mystery and speculation. The vandals carried it to Carthage, but the shifting sands of history obscured it in a precise trail. Byzantium briefly claimed the golden relic, yet its fate remained elusive, its location uncertain since antiquity. Whispers and tales floated through the ages. Some spoke of it being broken, others of it being hidden. Florentine Diamond Let's move on to the Florentine Diamond, an elusive gem with a story as intricate as its 126-facet double rose cut. Originating from India, this diamond has a soft yellow hue with a hint of green. The tale begins at a time when battles roared and dukes reigned. Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy, owned this diamond, adorning it during fateful days. When he fell in battle, a peasant, unaware of its worth, sold it for a mere two francs. Thus, Florentine's journey began through different hands and histories. Some believe the diamond's roots stretch back to southern India, reaching the Portuguese governor of Goa. Through the twists of fate, it found itself in the Medici treasure in Florence, embraced by Pope Julius II and the Medici family. Centuries later in the 16th and 17th centuries, the diamond shone in various forms, catching the eye of admirers like Jean-Baptiste Tavernier. Eventually, it graced the Habsburg crown jewels, a precious part of the imperial treasure in Vienna. Yet, the diamond faced adversity, changing hands and continents. After World War I, it vanished from the imperial treasurer and stories whispered of its journey to South America and the United States. In a gesture of reverence, the Florentine was recreated by a skilled jeweler, Paolo Penko, a sparkling tribute to its rich history. Today, a recorded version can be admired at the Palazzo Medici Riccardi in Florence. Its whereabouts remain a mystery, adding to the allure of its legend. Peking Man Let's dig deeper into the perplexing vanishing act of the Peking Man fossils, a riddle wrapped in the mysteries of human evolution. In the 1920s, 
China's Zokudian cave site yielded a treasure trove of Homo erectus fossils, almost 200 in number. Fast forward to World War II. Fearing for these precise fossils' safety, Chinese authorities decided to ship them across the ocean to the United States. But a curtain of uncertainty fell along this journey, concealing their whereabouts. Boxes containing the fossilized bones vanished and the trail grew cold. In 2010, a glimmer of hope emerged from Paul Bowman's email. He narrated a tale from 1947 during China's Nationalist Communist Civil War. Bowen's father, a U.S. Marine stationed in Qinzhongdao, uncovered a box of bones amid the chaos of war. This intriguing lead guided paleoanthropologist Li Berger and a team of researchers to Qinguangdao, now transformed into an industrial hub based on Bowen's descriptions. One likely spot was hidden beneath an asphalt parking lot. A twist of fate, the bones might be under our feet, waiting for the day they see the light in again during a future redevelopment. However, no excavation could be undertaken at this site, at this stage. Ark of the Covenant The Ark of the Covenant, a revered artifact in ancient Israel, embodied meticulous craftsmanship and profound significance. Fashioned from durable acacia wood, it was enveloped in gold, both within and without. This golden sheen symbolizes sanctity and splendor. The lid, known as the mercy seat, bore two intricately crafted cherubim facing each other, their wings creating a symbolic throne for God. The story goes like this. God told Moses to create this divine chest during his 40-day stay on Mount Sinai. He gave detailed instructions, like using unique wood and gold to make everything shiny. The ark was a particular size, around 52 inches long, 31 inches wide, and 31 inches tall. It had golden rings and poles to carry it. This core purpose of the ark, holding these tablets, elevated it beyond a mere container. It became a tangible representation of God's covenant with the Israelites, an ever-present reminder of their sacred obligations. This wasn't just a chest for storage, it was laden with meaning and holiness. The stone tablets with the Ten Commandments given to Moses by God were housed inside. These tablets were like the divine constitution for the Israelites. During the Israelites' desert sojourn, the ark was a mobile sanctuary, guiding and comforting them. It led the way in their wanderings, a spiritual compass. Picture this, a nomadic community on the move, always following the divine guidance encapsulated within this golden chest. When they got to the River Jordan, it made the waters stop so they could pass. In battles, the Ark took on a symbolic and morale-boosting role. Carried before them, it signified God's presence and protection. It was a visual testament to their faith and a harbinger of victory. In one famous story, they surrounded the city of Jericho, circled it seven times, then blew trumpets and the walls of the city fell. But then, some not so great times happened. The Ark was captured and taken around by the Philistines. Things went wrong for them, diseases and whatnot. They decided to return it to the Israelites. Later in the grandeur of Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, the Ark found a permanent abode, the Holy of Holies. This was the zenith of its journey, a revered place in the heart of the spiritual and political epicenter of the Israelite kingdom. But times changed, as they tend to do. The Babylonians invaded Jerusalem and destroyed the temple. The Ark? It disappeared. Some say it got taken to Babylon, while others think it's still secret. Now in these modern days, people talk about the Ark, but they are still determining where it is. Some even think it's up in the heavens. Who knows? The mystery lives on. Amber Room Eighth wonder of the world. Imagine a room vanishing into thin air, 
a room adorned with the radiance of amber, an artistic masterpiece steeped in history. The Amber Room. The mere thought of an entire room disappearing is baffling. Yet this is precisely the enigma that shrouds the Amber Room, a wonder of craftsmanship. Its origins trace back to the 18th century in Prusia, designed by Andreas Schluter and crafted by amber artisans Gottfried Wolfram, Gottfried Tura, and Ernest Schaut. Initially intended for Charlottenburg Palace, Berlin, the room found its way to Russia as a gift from King Frederick William I to Tsar Peter the Great in 1716. An architectural masterpiece, it boasted gilding carvings, over 450 kilograms of amber panels, gold leaf, gemstones, and mirrors illuminated by candlelight. Its opulence led to its moniker as the eighth wonder of the world. But then, during the ravages of World War II, disaster struck. In their conquest, German forces looted the room and spirited it away to Konigsberg for display. In 1997, a clue emerged, an Italian stone mosaic called Feel and Touch, part of the original Amber Room, was found in Germany. The soldier's family, who claimed it to have helped pack up the Amber Room, had it. This mosaic found its way into the hands of the Russian authorities and was used in the subsequent reconstruction efforts. In 1998, hopes were high as two separate teams, German and Lithuanian, claimed to have located the Amber Room. The German team believed it was in a silver mine, while the Lithuanian team thought it might be buried in a lagoon. However, both teams turned out to be mistaken in their assumptions. In 2004, British investigative journalist Catherine Scott Clark and Adrian Levy delved into the mystery. They concluded that the Amber Room likely ended during the bombing of Konigsberg by the Royal Air Force in 1944 and the subsequent burning of the castle by the Soviets between 9 and 11 April 1945, right after the Battle of Konigsberg. There is a particular twist to this story. Some present-day residents of Kaliningrad claim that the parts of the Amber Room were discovered in the Konigsberg castle cellars after World War II by the Red Army. According to them, the Amber Room was in good condition but the discovery was kept a secret to blame the Nazis. And in 2020, a potential breakthrough occurred when Polish divers found the wreck of the SS Karlsruhe, a ship from Operation Hannibal. The ship was attacked off the coast of Poland by Soviet aircraft after sailing from Konigsberg in 1945. This wreck might hold crates that contained parts of the Amber Room. The saga continues, a keen to an intriguing mystery plot. What happened to this treasure, a marvel of artistry and craftsmanship, remains a profound mystery. Was it destroyed in the fiery storm of war, lost forever amidst the chaos? Or did it find a new, clandestine resting place away from the clutches of history? Thank you for embarking on this intriguing journey through history with us. If you were as captivated by this mysterious disappearance as we were, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating tales. We value your thoughts and ideas. Share them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next episode.